G'day team, welcome back to Q Manufacturing. I am still Matt, and if you've seen the last video, you know what we're doing today. This pile, this wonderful pile in front of you here, has to be turned into my mill. So we're gonna crack on with the first part of this mill build, and for that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the base. It's a pretty solid base, based around a 100 millimeter square hollow section. You can see a heap of it there, it's all the blue stuff. Uh, and it's gonna be you know, a nice, decent size. It'll allow me to get rid of all this stuff on the floor of the garage, reclaim some space in here so I can get my car back inside, and then have a firm foundation to build off for the rest of the mill. All right, so without much further ado, let's crack on. So this here is uh, interesting, annoying, and quite frankly, rather disappointing. Um, so I, I got this steel all cut from a local steel supplier. I won't name them here because you know, it's a bit of a, a dick move. Um, but you can see the gap at the, top, at the bottom here versus the top. And they're all cut at 45 degrees, and it appears that that 45 degree cut is actually um, slanted that way. It's not too bad that direction, probably like half a degree off. That's you know, perfectly fine. But that seems to be like kicked out a decent amount there. So that it's actually not, you know, meeting at the top and bottom. This surface across here is flat. Um, you know, it's on a flat section there. I've checked over here with the flat edge. Um, you know, it, it's flat. It's good, and that's just. It's quite sad. Uh, I paid four dollars a cut. And, you know, heads up when you're doing this much steel. All right. So what the plan is from here is I'm going to tack there, and then I can uh, bend it in either direction. Um, to make sure that's square, that's currently set up as square and held in place with the magnet clamps. Uh, then I'm going to tack here, and then I'm going to roll the thing over, and I'm going to do the other side while clamping it down to keep it flat. Let's see how this goes.
That's some pretty terrible welding. Good news is there's a lot of it, so it'll stay together. That's my theory, at least. Helps when the welder's on. Popping. Tell you what, casters, especially this kind with a screw down foot, are severely underrated. Uh, this is about 120 kilos of steel, uh, and you know, it takes enough to move, but. Oh. Now I can claim my garage back. Alrighty, so all the welding's done on this now, which is taking a while, but so much faster with the MIG. I cannot, I cannot emphasize how much faster the MIG this has been. Um, all the contact surfaces and outside surfaces are ground back with a flap disc. Uh, and then on the inside of the wire brush, um, just to get rid of all the, the rust and burnt paint. The whole thing has been given a solvent wipe and is now ready for a bit of paint. So all I'm going to do for the moment is just paint the bare metal surfaces so we don't get any rust and then require further surface prep later on. And the, the blue side of the thing is in a primer for my black paint going over the top, so I'm not going to actually worry about um, going over that with the, uh, with the metal primer. Um, I'm just going to hit the, the shiny stuff with primer so it doesn't rust and then uh, go from there. Let's see how this goes. That paints a bit of time to harden up and cure. Let's get the base on it and then we can get started on the next part. Oh, 
All right, so before I do a George Bush and call mission accomplished, I'm going to add some of this uh, self-adhesive foam, just you know, sort of seal roll here. I'm just going to lay it down on you know, all these bits here where the, the wood touches just to provide some vibration absorption and you know, just try and improve the general life of this whole contraption. Let's do it. Okay, first piece is both crooked and not centered. We are off to a great start. All right, so while you weren't looking, I did the same thing with baseboard on this inside here. This is going to become my electronics cabinet. It'll be an electronics wall that gets some protection put on it. So it's a cabinet, technically. Um, and I think that that actually completes... Yeah, I think that completes our stand. There's still some uh, mounting points in to go, you know, in here and around the side there, but they won't be done until the actual um, epoxy granite casting is done. Just so that's all lined up nice. I'll grind them back, water them on. Uh, we'll tack them on while it's on top and then finish weld them and repaint those areas. Thanks for staying with me. Thanks for having a look at how I've done this. Uh, I think it's come out pretty good. My welding gets better you know, all the time and that, that MIG really helps. So it's a grinder. As usual, you guys know the drill. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing and you know, drop a comment down below and say hello. Thanks for watching.